Imagine a world that has survived asteroid strikes, collisions with other planets, and multiple ice ages. A world that has been home to an incredible array of life forms. It's hard to believe, but this is the story of our very own planet, Earth. Let's rewind to about 4.5 billion years ago. Our solar system was just beginning to form from a dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust. This cloud collapsed into a spinning disk of matter that heated up until hydrogen fused into helium, giving birth to our sun. And not too far behind was the birth of Earth. The outer edges of this spinning disk started to come together. These gatherings were the seeds of the planets and moons in our solar system. As they collected more matter, they grew larger and more spherical. The gatherings in the cooler parts of the solar system were mostly made of ice, liquids, and gases. Closer to the Sun, the rocky material formed the inner planets, including Mars and Earth. In its early days, Earth was a hotbed of volcanic activity, spewing out gases like hydrogen sulfide, methane, and carbon dioxide. These gases formed Earth's first atmosphere. Earth was also a target for large asteroids and comets. One particularly violent collision occurred when Thea, a planet the size of Mars, crashed into our young Earth. This massive impact scattered debris around Earth's orbit, which gravity eventually pulled together to form the Moon. At this time, Earth had no oceans, water existed only as gas. But around 3.8 billion years ago, our planet cooled enough for water to condense into liquid, forming the first primitive ocean. This transformed Earth into a water world. And with water being a vital ingredient for life, it led to the emergence of life on Earth around 3.7 billion years ago. The earliest life forms were microscopic organisms, but Earth didn't stay a water world for long. The first continents, known as Cratons, began to rise from the ancient ocean. As more land emerged, the first supercontinent, Valbara, appeared. Valbara wasn't exactly a supercontinent, it was relatively small, believed to be smaller than Australia. Fast forward to about 2.4 billion years ago, cyanobacteria evolved to become the first photosynthesizers on our planet, producing oxygen and making Earth's atmosphere more hospitable. But the story doesn't end there. With the increase in oxygen, Earth's atmosphere had much lower levels of carbon dioxide, which led to a drop in temperature. Much of our young planet froze over, marking Earth's first ice age. And the journey of Earth's history continues from there. Earth, our home, transforming over billions of years. Continents shifting and reshaping, forming the supercontinent Rodinia. Life, in its myriad forms, began to flourish. But nothing lasts forever, and Rodinia eventually broke apart, making way for a new supercontinent, Panosia. Fast forward to between 540 and 485 million years ago, life took a dramatic turn. The Cambrian explosion happened, and life forms with hard body parts like shells and spines, including the famous trilobites, evolved. Around 440 million years ago, a sudden shift in climate caused a drastic change in ocean temperatures. This led to Earth's first mass extinction event, the Ordovician Silurian extinction. A significant portion of life disappeared, but the survivors laid the foundation for today's ecosystems. Between 420 to 350 million years ago, the first trees sprouted, and the first animals ventured onto land. By 250 million years ago, Pangaea, the last vast supercontinent, covered the planet. But this period also saw the Great Dying, the most severe mass extinction event in our history, wiping out about 90% of all species. From 240 to 230 million years ago, the first dinosaurs emerged, ruling the land for the next 150 million years. Imagine seeing the gigantic Argentinosaurus, the largest land animal ever, or being chased by the T-Rex, one of Earth's greatest apex predators. Six million years ago, an asteroid struck our planet where Mexico is now, causing catastrophic climate changes that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. In the aftermath, mammals became more prevalent. Around the same time, the earliest known humans, Sahelanthropus, began to inhabit this world. For a million years ago, early humans started to walk upright, and about a million years later, they developed the first known tools. Approximately 800,000 years ago, these early humans discovered how to control fire, revolutionizing their way of life. Between 40,000 to 15,000 years ago, all other human species besides Homo sapiens went extinct. 10,000 years ago, Earth saw its earliest farmers. These formerly nomadic humans finally settled down. Jumping forward to about 250 years ago, the Industrial Revolution brought major technological, socio-economic, and cultural transformations. 
Our human population continued to grow, reaching 1 billion by 1804, 2 billion by 1927, and over 8 billion people today. Now, a new threat has emerged, climate change. Rising temperatures and sea levels worldwide, along with declining biodiversity, could potentially lead to another mass extinction event. But that's a story for another time.